Hi, Steve here in the Maker's Cave. And as you may have been following, we've moved into a new cave and we're trying to get everything situated. And one of the things I want to do is I want to get a paint booth. And in this area right here, we're going to try and get a used piece of furniture to repurpose as a spray booth for um, airbrushing. But when we were in uh, Habitat for Humanity the other day, or Restore, which is, I don't know if you're familiar with it, but that's really great. A lot of contractors and overstock, they all donate um, furniture, building supplies, uh, what have you, and they sell really inexpensively. It's like a thrift store for construction. It's really cool. Um, we were in there, as Mrs. Maker and I are, you know, at least once or twice a month, and they had this retail display case right here that looks like it was used to be for cosmetics. I looked at it, and the first thing I thought is, what a great way to organize all my paints. So Mrs. Maker yesterday went and by color and brand, and here's all my Tamea, and this is uh, some airbrushing kit I got off of uh, Amazon. And it just rotates, and all my paints are right here, easy for me to see, easy for me to grab. So I guess the tip I'm trying to pass on here is don't sleep the thrift, don't sleep the thrift stores. Uh, you want to go in there twice a month, it's amazing what you can find. Not only can you find stuff for your shop infrastructure, but you can find stuff as a base for a project. An old lamp, a uh, piece of furniture that you can bring back to the shop and remake and make it your own. Yeah, this is really going to be nice. It's really, really nice. Holds everything. So, I hope this tip uh, helped you out. Remember, don't sleep the thrift store. <laughs> Home sleep the thrift stores. I'm Steve. Thanks for stopping by the Maker's Cave, and I'll see you at the next build.